Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shalma here. Welcome to my workshop and the first vlog of DIY stitch and glue mini electric boat. Now, before we begin, I've got the material, but I want to say I have no experience at all in boat building. The only experience that I have with stitch and glue is sitting right there. And it actually worked very well. It's uh, just curing the uh, epoxy racing at the moment. So that's the only experience I have with the stitch and glue boat build or something. So once again, let's call it a zero experience. And I'm going to welcome failure if I fail and learn from my mistakes and failure and, you know, take it from there and redo the build. But anyway, I hope I'll be successful on my very first try and inshallah it will go very well. So let's get it started. Let me show you. So let's get it started. Plywood is here. Let's cut the dimensions on this. Let's uh, plot the dimensions on it, cut it, stitch and glue it, and see how it goes. On the step one, I started by taking a rough idea where I should be sitting and where people should be sitting in the boat. And based on that rough idea, I started making the measurements and lining. And I used the Tajima, the Japanese handsaw, and started cutting the plywood. Why I'm using the handsaw is because throughout this build I wanted to improve my hand tools skills. Now this piece I'm going to use to form the rear of the boat so I take measurements and I cut it using the handsaw. Again I love this Japanese Tajima blade. Throughout this build it really helped me build my cutting skills and now I can cut really nice and straight lines. Next step was to cut the side walls for the boat, so I took another plywood sheet and marked it. Now, yes, if you are not watching the sellers, they would just give you something you don't actually want and later you won't be able to return it. So yes, after I cut this long straight cut by hand, yes, I love it man, my skills improved. So I cut one side and then when I started cutting the other side, I realized that piece was uh, uh, bad so anyway lucky me I still had more of the plywood so I went ahead with the other side Hadi came back from school and he started helping me as well for drawing the curve lines and holding the pieces in places so thank you very much Kidu for your help as you're watching me I'm cutting this piece and I find this piece was not really good so I had to take the measurements again and then I cut the other piece. Now I use the hand planer again practicing my hand tools uh, skills and made both of the sides equal. Later Abdul Hadi helps me draw the curves again. Thank you very much Kidu and I go ahead and cut those curves. Now this is the piece where it was very very important for me to be very careful with the measurements because that's gonna form the curve the front curve of the hull now I'm joining the uh, other two pieces the walls and the front curve using the stitch method and I'm just using zip ties which are really nice and strong and I find there was a slight mistake on the measurements curves cutting but anyway this is my very first build I'm happy how things are going at the at the moment as far as I can see it's look it is looking very very good for my first build now I'm installing the rear plate or rear of the boat using the zip ties I used a couple of zip ties and tightened it and it actually held it in its place which was nice then I brought in the wall using the chair, uh, some, uh, some of these are my old chairs actually. And I formed the curve and taking that as a reference I keep digging, not digging, drilling the holes and kept on stitching the side walls. As you can see from this angle I'm just drilling hole one by one and stitching the side walls. The method is working very well for, for now and it actually held the pieces uh, together very well. On the front side I had a little bit of measurement mistakes which was easy to cut away the excess pieces and then I stitched the front side. Oh man, I gotta call it a day. Feels tired. I woke up very early this morning and I think I have done enough for today. Tomorrow, ceiling my very first stitch and glue boat frame check this out i gotta go up say prayers but before that 
I want to show it to you. Still, the front side, I have to cut these away. I didn't cut in the beginning because I didn't want to, you know, mess up the measurements. So the front will cut and I added just these, uh, you know, three temporary pieces of wood so that it will hold and in a, in a sense that, you know, I have to do sealing inside, okay? Once the inside sealing is done, then I will put it upside down and do the sealing outside and these wood pieces, you know, temporary wood pieces will hold the boat in place, the shape in place. And also they form a reference for me to build the ribs in the boat. So these will be three main ribs and there will be one more, uh, there will be one uh, wooden piece will run in the middle, uh, under the bottom and probably in the middle uh, inside as well, just to make it more strong because this plywood, uh -uh, it's it has been sitting somewhere in watery environment and it's not very very strong so so first will be the ceiling then the wooden frame ribs inside and after that i'll start doing the fiberglassing and make it very very strong inshallah man alhamdulillah i'm so happy this was my very very first try and i am very very happy that alhamdulillah and mashallah this has turned out to be very very good so concepts work and everything is in its place next steps you know what we will do so stay tuned for more videos coming your way stay subscribed to my channel and stay updated come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there i know you can do it oh while you are at it also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button